Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create offshore connection in Tekla structures, just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tekla structures with use environment. Now we're going to create beam. So click on T and select this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create beam and create one more beam. So pick the first point and second point to create one more beam like this. To differentiate this beam, you are now going to change the color of this beam. So double click on this beam. Now click on here. Let's take class 2. Then click on modify and close it. Okay, now we're going to create the offshore connection between these two beams. So go to application components by using the shortcut control F or click on here. In search bar type 193. Then you will get this component number 193 offshore u connection so select this connection and pick the main beam as this beam and pick the secondary part as this beam and press this scrolling button to to create connection between two beams like this and close this window right click on center click on space right click on zero down you can see by default you will get this offshore u connection now we are going to create views so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines click on create and click on OK and click on OK. Okay, now I'm going to edit this connection. So double click on this component symbol. Now go to parameters. Now from grid center to left side and right side, you can control from here. For example, uh, from center of this connection to left side, projection we're going to take one feet. Similarly, in the right side, projection, we're going to take one feet and bottom also one feet. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see now from center of this grid to left side, one feet and right side also one feet. Okay, you can check this dimension. So this beams along grid B. So click on window and select view list. And let's take elevation on grid B and click on this arrow and close it and zoom it here now we're going to check the dimensions so click on edit and select this measure and select horizontal distance and pick the first point at here and to pick the second point you need to activate this option snap to jump lines of points to get the point here so click on here to check the dimension here one feet pick the first point and second point here this should be also one feet if you want to change this projection on left side so you can let's take here six inch on top side then click on modify you can see now this projection should be six inch on top side bottom side one feet according to this option okay now i'm going to check once again so click on edit and select this measure on horizontal distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point and place it you can see now we have six inch similarly you can change in bottom side for example let's take here also six inch then click on modify you can see now at the bottom side also we have six inch okay this indicates the welding symbol uh, between the two parts you can see this indicates the without welding symbol click on modify now there is no weld between the two parts if you want to weld between the two parts then you need to select this option with welding symbol then click on modify apply ok click on space right click on mouse right away. like this click on window and select 3d view Click on space, right click on mouse, UW. Like this. Use the shortcut Control 4 for render view, Control 2 for shaded view, like this. For render view, use the shortcut Control 4, like this. That's it about how to create offshore U connection in Tetla structures. If you have any errors, please comment below. If you like this video, please like it and share it. For more Tekla structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here 
under videos you can find out so many Tekla structure related videos. I hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay. Thank you.